Oh, right in the middle, right in the middle. Perfect! We have liftoff, folks. And she is a home run. It's out of here. Hello, everybody. Grace to please. And we're back with more Beam NG Drive. Out here over the water. I feel like we haven't done enough horrifying crashing lately. All of our drivers have gotten off way too easy. And thus, it's time to blasticate some different vehicles. Over here! This is something that we had done with farm equipment back in the day. But someone wanted to see more sports cars. So I decided to give them a shot. We're going to be using sports cars in order to do something like a police blockade endurance challenge, essentially. I have here four sets of police blockades, each one heavier than the last. We've got regular police cars, police trucks, police SUVs, and then finally the bomb squad all the way in the back. We're gonna see which car can blast their way through all of these different blockades trying to reach this sad military vehicle in the back. I really don't know what its backstory is. It's just lonely and depressed and wants someone to comfort it softly. So we're gonna do that with some sports cars. Place your bets. I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, that my good buddy Ludicrous Speed should do pretty well at this. But before we do Ludicrous Speed, we're leading off with this. The dummy mobile. Maybe saying to yourself, Gray, how in the world is the dummy mobile going to get through any of that? Well, this dummy mobile happens to have an experimental engine in it that produces like 350 horsepower or something. Considering the car weighs like 300 pounds, I think it should move it pretty quickly. And we're off! Alright, not too bad so far. Actually, it's, uh, it's quite stable. You're about to see the dummy mobile move at speeds you've never even dreamed of before. I think this thing gets up to like 150 miles an hour with the experimental engine. We're gonna do a little bit of full speed. We're gonna do a little bit of slow motion speed. I think we're gonna start with the slow motion though to see what it's like to be a dummy inside of a car of- <laughs> Oh my god, I just broke the entire game. Okay, well, let's uh, in those last moments before the game immediately broke, let us take a look at exactly what happened over here. I'm pretty sure a head got separated from the dummy. That's... That is a separated dummy head right there. What does it look like inside of the dummy vehicle? It's hell on earth. Effectively. It's hell. It's basically like being inside of a, a washing machine, I guess. Only if the washing machine was washing metal and... Shrapnel and death. We do have to take a moment as well to realize what happened to the police vehicles. Uh, it almost looks like some like it got shaved in half. The front of this vehicle isn't even present any longer. The door got blasted off somehow. And the lance of Thor is kind of like spearing through this police vehicle. I would say both police officers would be highly unlikely to ever, uh, I don't know, protect and serve after this incident. Oh my god, I managed to make it unpause. Oh, the horror. Okay. What the hell happened over there? Oh, 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 Satan. Oh, Satan and BeamNG. We found Satan and BeamNG. Okay, so somehow this vehicle got injured. I'm not really sure how. I don't know if the telekinetic powers of the dummies happen to fire through the other police vehicles and then start tangling with those ones. It's like friggin' Venom from the Marvel Universe over here spinning his crap all over the place. We got the black lines everywhere. And look at the look at the military vehicle. Like, it got wrecked. I I don't know by what. I mean, I can kind of see the giant death spears coming from, you know, some sort of alien planet through it. But I don't know how this- Oh, mother of God, look at what happened to the front of this. Okay, uh, let's try this one more time and maybe there'll be less, like, instantaneous death. Alright, perhaps the deities of BeamNG will be slightly more pleased. We only have one dummy now. It's just the driver. I'm hoping that the- the friggin' Satan-mobile that this thing was before doesn't happen again. We're coming up here, like I said, thing gets up to a hundred-some-odd miles an hour, moving pretty quickly. 
Let's see what we got right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and slow this down so we can see the appropriate impact. There we go! It's like a cannonball. Like, it hits real good. But I gotta say, it stopped a lot faster than I thought it would. Let's go ahead and, uh... Look at it, it's still trying to go. The front wheels are pushed up in the freaking driver's seat just about. This thing's still trying to move around. How you doing in there, dummy? How you feeling, buddy? How you feeling? Is, uh, are your chiclets inside of the steering wheel? Is that what's happening over here? You spitting teeth into the radio system? I understand that. It's just another normal day with Gray. I think we're going to need a vehicle with a little bit more weight and power because, uh, it can't even get through. Well, it got through the first barricade, but it can't reach the second. Here we go. This looks pretty fast. Let's see what happens at this one at full speed. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? Let's watch it from the position of the uh, inside here. You're hanging out in your sports car. You know how it is. Going uh, about 150 miles an hour. Going past 150 miles an hour probably by now. I think this thing goes up to like 196 or some such. Right about here is where the land of sadness. Right there. Right there. Wow. You know, I think we made out okay. I mean, other than our seat other than us, like, currently eating our seat. Everything else seems to be okay. How far did we get through the... Uh, wow! Right through the second... The second barricade over here. Didn't reach the third one. But the second one was blown away. This car got moved way over here somehow. Just a little bit of damage in the front, uh... The front push bars. This car got dragged all the way over to the vehicle over here. Other than that, though, I almost feel like there was more damage from the dummy car. This is what it's like being a police officer. You're on your coffee break, thinking that some scumbag's not going to be flying down the roadway, when all of a sudden... So that's what happened the first time. And I'm kind of surprised there, because the, uh... Let's go ahead and stop things a little bit here so we can understand that impact, which was quite fruitful, actually. The two vehicles in that very first barricade got destroyed. Uh, this one especially sad, but I mean this time The two trucks were totally fine. I'm like pretty impressed with how well they took that shot Let's give ourselves a little bit of a slow-mo of the action and then we'll have to pick something a little bit. Wow Go ahead and vault yourself. Why don't you like a missile? Into the side of the police truck. Good job. Good job. Oh, don't go flying off the bridge now. That would be sad to die that way. Wouldn't want you to drown after all. A little bit of whiplash isn't so bad, but drowning, that's no good. Man! Like a... Hold on, let's go ahead and stop things right over here. Like a missile! That thing upside down, spinning through the air, launched into the side of the police vehicle and hit it like a friggin' wrecking ball. That was pretty damn good. These two police cars over here got it pretty bad. The other police car really took a heavy hit. Look at the front end of this thing all folded in. All right, this thing's done pretty well, but I think we need something even faster and stronger. How about this creature? Super low to the ground, so I'd like to see if the front kind of like scoops the police officers up into the air and vaults them. Wouldn't that be nice? Onward we go. Let's go ahead and do a little, uh, little cinematic view over here. Of our beautiful drag rate. Now, this is supposed to be a drag model over here, so I have no idea how fast it's gonna go. You can see it's just spilling smoke out the back. Full speed, boys! Oh, we didn't even get to see what full speed was there. All I could see is pieces flying through the air. Oh my god. Oh, prepare your anuses, people. Because whatever happened to this car needs to be seen without anything in the way. This thing got turned into a metallic paperweight. It's crunched from both sides. The impact to the side of this police vehicle looks like a friggin' Hellfire missile hit it or something. Mother of God. Over here, the police trucks seem to be okay. This guy got out scot-free. It's all a matter of kind of like what the AI decides to do with the vehicle at the time. Sometimes it moves a little bit to the right. Sometimes it moves a little bit to the left. But the thing that we notice is that it cleared all of the barricades and it didn't make it to the bomb squad. Onward, men! To victory! To valor! That's that impact! That's that first impact and look at the pieces just get launched! 
Wow, it's the other police vehicles that cleared the blockade. Not so much our, our supercar. The supercar just got obliterated right in the beginning. I would have thought that that front end would have kind of like protected it a little bit. Maybe like been able to get under the side panels of some of the vehicles. Nope. It gets absolutely destroyed in <laughs> another police car. It's the bomb squad vehicle at like three miles an hour. That was actually a pretty heavy hit. Maybe it was a little bit faster than that. I, had, I do have things slowed down right now. Where's our police vehicle? Where's our other police vehicle? Oh, here it is. Wow. Yeah, I think we can see where the, uh, where the initial impact was. One more time. We're doing it full speed. Wow. Full speed was so worth it that the thing turned into a flaming rocket. Oh, there's two cars on fire now. All right. We got a twofer out of the deal. Is this a piece of the car that went all the way back to the bomb squad? Still, though, no supercar has truly reached the bomb squad yet. Like, they've gotten pieces of their car back to it, but the bulk of the car hasn't reached it. We're gonna do it. Insanity Police Department. Go! Nitrous oxide armed and on. Here we go, baby. Oh, this is ridiculous. I think this is the fastest one we've had. There it is. Like a bowling ball. Get those pins. Get those bowling pins. Come on, baby. Wow. That was a hell of a hit. That was a hit. And one of the other police vehicles ends up hitting the bomb squad. Still doesn't really make it through the barricade. But holy crap, look at what happened over here. Fires have begun. There is smoke pouring out of everything. And any vehicle that was on this thing's bad side just got demolished. I mean, the front end of this thing got obliterated as well. But man, what a hit this thing had. All right, dash cam time. Nitrous oxide on. Here we go. We're going to go full speed. Full speed! Superchargers for the win! Oh, wow. Couldn't even... Oh, I thought we were going to go into the water. Holy crap. Okay. Well, once again, look at what happened over here! This vehicle got... The side of this thing has been erased. It's almost been erased from the planet. It's kind of weird because, like, it's, it's hugging... This police vehicle over here? I mean, it's kind of in between both of these police vehicles. It probably got scared is what happened. A after that hit, it was probably like, hold me, and it went in between these two police vehicles right now. But look at the side of this thing. It's just that initial impact. Everything else seems to turn out okay. So, the Insanity Police is a tough customer. But the furthest it can go is basically just barely past the third barricade. It can't really reach the fourth one, though. All right, let's see what this friggin' missile can do. Another drag race style of vehicle. As long as it can stay on the road, I imagine, oh, wow, look at the speed. Holy crap. Oh, right in the middle, right in the middle, perfect. We have liftoff, folks. And she is a home run. It's out of here, out of the park, it's gone right off the bridge, right into the water. Why don't you go cool off? Yeah, have a drink. That was pretty impressive because it hit the other police vehicles like perfect, like right on. So these two in that front over there got destroyed. Everything else though, I mean, everything else, I mean, this is pretty bad over here, but nothing we haven't really seen before. Do you hear that? It's the sound of sadness. There we go. That time it stayed on the roadway. Oh, that engine, it's so powerful. That time it stayed on the roadway, but uh, still can't really get past the third or so barricade. I just, I feel like we're not getting enough speed. 230 mile an hour death machine. Let's see if speed can overcome all oppositions. Go, my child. Let no one oppose you. Not even the police! Through the first police barricade! Through the second police barricade! And, wow, what was that? 
Oh, it's the first police car running into the second police car. We can call that a definite penetration. A deep penetration of two of the police barricades. But not even able to touch the third one. We'll go ahead and do one more, but I don't think we're going to see anything any stronger from this guy. We're in the dash cam of uh, one of the trucks. I want to see what it looks like from here at full speed. We should be seeing the orange. Yep, there it is. There it is. That's a scary sight, man. Just seeing that creature racing toward you. Yep, it broke past the third barricade. It can break past the third barricade, but it can't get past the fourth. This is it. This is my boy. Ludicrous speed. May the Schwartz be with you. This is what I got my money on. If this one can't do it, I'm not sure what else to throw at the barricade. Actually, I do know what to throw at the barricade. We're going to have to give that a shot last. All right. This is it. Do it, Ludicrous Speed. Break the game. Oh, wow. Even with the... Oh, my God. Even with the roll cage. Even with the roll cage. It just couldn't do it. I, I'm afraid to let the game continue on this path with the artifacting happening. You have no idea. I had to reset the game before because of the horror of the artifact. Even Ludicrous Speed couldn't do it. I'm so sad. I'm giving Ludicrous Speed one last chance. Here it comes. Nope. It's like a Frisbee. Like, it takes all of the vehicles out. It's actually quite uniform in the destruction it lays down on everything in its path. It just can't really get to that last freaking one. This last barricade has been completely untouched. So let's go nuts real quick. Here we go. It's a drag racing mega truck. If this can't do it, there's a, I only have one other thing that we can throw at this. And if we can't get it, you guys are going to have to let me know. I know this isn't even, even, this isn't even a supercar anymore. Now we're into the truck category. If you guys can think of a supercar that could beat this challenge, you're going to have to let me know. All right, truck. Batter your way through. That's amazing. Oh, my God. This is incredible. <laughs> it circumvented. <laughs> It circumvented the other barricade by flying over it. Look at the wheel. This is hilarious. These two vehicles are completely untouched. Everything else. Oh, wow. We might have to do an episode where it's just trucks versus the barricade. Hold on. One more time. Stop. Police. Does he look like he cares? Oh. <gasps> okay. Okay. Well, that time it legitimately broke down the barricade. It hit everything. It hit every single car we have here. It even hit the target vehicle. It's on fire and its occupants are barbecuing alive. But that was the most destruction in one accident we've had yet. Slow motion, one last time. Through the first obstacle. Through the second obstacle. Third obstacle. Come on, just touch him. Just touch him. Oh, it couldn't touch it. But it lands it. Sticks the landing. No big deal. There it is. And finally, the loneliness of our target vehicle is subsided. As the super truck, the dragster truck, is now one. It almost looks like a, 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 like a yin-yang. You know what I mean? Because you have the one vehicle over here. There's the cab. You have the other vehicle over here. And there's the cab. Is this still trying to go? All right, you talked me into it. We'll do it. We'll do the destroyer. 300 kilometers per hour of shovel-like penetrative power. I think that we may see some uh, police cars fly. I'm not going to lie. Hold on. Let's go ahead and uh, watch here. As the scoop has its way. Has its way. No one is safe. Nothing is sacred. The destroyer doesn't take crap from anyone. And it does legitimately 
plow its way through the barricade. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Beam NG Drive, where we got to see a bunch of vehicles blast through police barricades. Woo! <laughs> and I got to test out my new computer, and I think it passed the test. That means that bigger crashes, bigger chases, and more destruction in general. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Again, if you have anything you'd like to suggest, Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. I still don't know what we're going to do about the like button situation. YouTube decided it's important, so I guess I have to say something about it, but uh, I don't know. You guys can figure something out. For right now, I'll just say, uh, I don't know, pretend the like button called you a dirty pleb and go ahead and hit it or something. Anyway, guys, till the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>